I'm not convinced that in the majority of patients, VSS is a progressive condition. I do think that it's a condition that fluctuates depending on how the rest of our brain is functioning on that particular day. I think it's important to remember that the brain is a very noisy electrical environment that works on the principle of sloppy workmanship. Near enough is good enough most of the time. So you, you expect any symptom that depends on brain function to fluctuate. So I think in that sense, the fact that it fluctuates doesn't necessarily mean it's progressive. Whether or not it's progressive in some patients is uncertain, but there have been reports of visual snow type syndromes occurring in patients who do have progressive diseases. Whether they're incidental or part of those diseases or not is truly uncertain. My own belief is that visual snow syndrome is not part of any disease group and by itself is not progressive, but symptoms like visual snow can be produced in some patients who have other diseases.